Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass. Let us be sorry for our sins. Let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I will prove the holiness of my great name, profaned among the nations, in whose midst you have profaned it. Thus the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when in their sight I prove my holiness through you. For I will take you away from among the nations, 
gather you from all the foreign lands and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your ancestors. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. For you are not pleased with sacrifices should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. Please stand. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and the elders of the people in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king, who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet. My calves and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of, the, of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then the king said to his servants, the feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out therefore into the main roads and invite to the feast whomever you find. 
The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guests, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. He said to him, My friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet and cast him into the darkness outside where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, it is not Valentine's Day today, nor is it the feast of the most sacred heart of Jesus. But today, let us reflect about our heart. In our first reading today, God gave a beautiful promise to the people of Israel. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. The Lord will replace the hearts of the people of Israel because their hearts have become hardened. Their hearts have become hearts of stone, so hard that God could not enter in. Because of their sins, the hearts of the people of Israel have become hearts of stone. And so they became like the people in the parable of Jesus in our gospel today who resisted and refused the invitation of God. God created our hearts. But when we turn our hearts into stones, then even God who created the heart would have no place in it. That is why God tells the people of Israel, I will change your hearts. I will take your stony hearts and give you natural hearts. Because stony hearts are not natural hearts. Stony hearts are so unnatural. Our hearts are not made for apathy and indifference. Our hearts are not made for dishonesty and unfaithfulness. Our hearts are not made for anger and resentment. Our hearts are not made for selfishness and greed. These things make our hearts so unnatural. These things make our heart so abnormal. Kapag yung puso natin ay walang pagdamay sa kapwa, Kapag yung puso natin ay manhid sa ating kapwa, kapag yung puso natin ay hindi tapat at manluloko, kapag yung puso natin ay madamot at makasarili, kapag yung puso natin ay hindi marunong magpatawad at magmahal, abnormal na puso yan. Dahil hindi yan 
ang natural sa pusong ibinigay sa atin ng Diyos. Natural hearts care and share. Natural hearts are honest and faithful. Natural hearts are selfless and generous. Natural hearts forgive and love. Kapag yan ang ginagawa ng ating puso, natural na natural, normal na normal, ang takbo ng ating puso. Our hearts will not be natural if we do not love like God. But the moment we love like God, then our hearts become natural. A heart that does not love like God is so unnatural. My dear brothers and sisters, today let us check our hearts. Is my heart still natural? Or has my heart turned into stone? Baha naging bato na ang puso natin at hindi na natural ang function ng ating mga puso. If that happens, then let us ask God to perform a heart transplant in us. Let us ask God to change our hearts of stone, our hearts hardened by sin, our apathetic, untruthful, dishonest, and unfaithful hearts, so that our hearts may become natural, our hearts may naturally love like God. And when our hearts become natural hearts, they become like the heart of Jesus. Please stand. God invites us to the banquet of eternal life in heaven. Let us ask our loving Father for all our needs. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church on earth may continue to flourish and draw many to the feast of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the rich and the poor alike may not make excuses to evade the call of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That by having pure and contrite hearts, we may be found worthy to come to the banquet God has prepared for us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may bring God's compassion and kindness to the sick and the disabled. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may live in the house of the Lord and rejoice in the banquet of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our own petitions. We pray for the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, you invite us to be with you in your kingdom. As we pray for others, help us to bring them with us to that banquet set forth by your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all their saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we to extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him O God Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever Amen Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us Our, Our Father, Father who art, art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that, that you should, should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conform to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.